Hello, team bros, and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy, Alvin Drill. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable TPM on an ASUS motherboard. Now, not all models have TPM on it, okay? I just want to make that clear. So this is my desktop computer. Now, I'm going to use a tool I have used many times in, the, in, my, in my videos so we can find what model I have or you have. So it's called C uh, CPU-Z. And if I go to the uh, main board tab, you're going to see the manufacturer is ASUS and the model is Prime X470 Pro. You may have an, uh, another model, but the process is the same. So as you know, uh, TPM is a physical chip that is on your motherboard that uh, works along with BitLocker in Windows so you can encrypt your hard drive or hard drives, all right? Now, now that we know what model do we have, we're going to, to see if you have uh, BitLocker enabled by default. So you go to the Windows search bar and you type tpm.msc. You, you click on the icon and it's telling me that compatible TPM cannot be found. So it's telling me that it's not there. I don't have it, but I know for sure that I do. So you might receive the same error. Well, not error, this message. Now we're going to go to this PC. I'm going to right click on my C drive and I'm going to turn on BitLocker. So as you can see, it's the fourth option. And it's, going, and it's telling me that I cannot enable BitLocker because I don't have TPM. So uh, you might receive the same error. Now we're going to close this and we're going to go to the ASUS website. So in this website is going to show me all the models, ASUS models, that have TPM on it. So either for Intel or for AMD. In my case, I have an AMD processor. So I'm going to show you right now. If we go to CPU, you can see the Ryzen. And the model I have is X470 series. So I have the same model, the same family. That means I should have it. But it's not enabled um, in the BIOS, maybe. As you have seen, it looks like I don't have it. So now I'm going to uh, close everything. I don't have anything else to do here. And now I'm going to restore my computer and we are going to get into the BIOS. So as you can see, the computer is uh, rebooting. Now I'm going to start pressing F2 or Dell on my keyboard. So we have access to the BIOS on an ASUS motherboard. You can see uh, there the ASUS logo. And now we are in the BIOS. So as you can see, this is the standard BIOS for uh, ASUS. Uh, you can see a lot of information about the motherboard here. So once we are in the BIOS, on the bottom, on the bottom right, you go to Advanced Model, uh, Advanced Mode. So you click on it, then you go to Advanced. And then you have, in this case, this is an AMD processor. So it's going to say AMD FTPM configuration. Uh, Intel is going to look a little different, but you get the idea. In this case, like I said, this is an AMD processor. So once you find it, if you don't have this, if you don't see it, that means you don't have a, uh, a TPM chip on your desktop computer, okay, on this model. So here you select, as you can see, enable discrete TPM is selected by default apparently, and you have to choose enable firmware TPM. So again, select TPM device, you click the arrow, and you have to select enable firmware TPM. So there, there is a notice, you have to read it, but in other words, it's telling you that if you lose the key, it's a key that you, you can print and you can save it, you can email or something, you have to save it in a secure place, but if you lose that key, or if the TPM chip itself fails, you won't have access to your encrypted hard drive, right? So just enabling, enabling it like we're doing right now doesn't do anything yet. You have to physically uh, enable BitLocker, okay? So keep that in mind. I'm going to show you in a few more seconds how it looks, but this is what, what it's telling you. So uh, I'm just going to, when, once you read it, you just have to press OK. And then you have, we don't have anything else to do here. So we're going to go to exit and we're going to save the configuration. So exit and save changes and reset. So that's it's going to reboot the, the computer. And uh, you can see there the ASUS logo. You don't press anything now. Now we're going to log into Windows. So once we are back in Windows, you go to the Windows search box and you type the exactly, the exactly same thing, tpm.msc, and you click on the icon. Now we can see something different. So it's telling us TPM management on local computer. So it has been found. A status, the TPM is ready for use. And in the bottom uh, right, it says uh, 
um, version 2.0. So that's kind of the current. So you have that. So it looks totally different. Now we're going to close this and we're going to check if BitLocker now is available for us. So we don't have much to do here other than seeing the version and that is enabled. Right click on the C drive or any other partition, turn on BitLocker and now it's telling us that how do you want to back up the recovery key. So that's the key that, uh, uh, that it was telling us in the BIOS to save it. So you can save it uh, to a file, you can take a picture, send it to an email, save it to your Microsoft account. Uh, the point is that you have it somewhere safe. This key is not asked to you every time, every day, but from time to time, it might ask you to put the key. It's a long key, more than 10 digi digits, if I remember correctly, but that's what it's telling you. So if you, once you choose what method you want, you can click next. In this one, I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to cancel it because I don't want to encrypt it right now. By the way, you can encrypt any other uh, partition, not only the C drive, okay? As long as you have BitLocker that comes with Windows Pro, Windows 10 Pro and above. So that's what I wanted to show you in this video, guys, how to find the model of your motherboard, ASUS, of course, how to find if you have TPM enabled, and if you don't have it, how to access the BIOS and enable it, okay? So maybe you want to watch one of these videos now, Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.